Hey guys, it's Margaret, and I'm hanging out with Mo. Hey, Howdy. Mo. Hey, Ari, there you are. <laughs> so tell everybody who you are before we get started. Hi, I'm Mo. I guess Mo Fremont on uh, Facebook. Um, I have a, a little YouTube podcast, the uh, Reseller Niche Podcast, and big fan of Margaret's Texas Gal Treasures, and been following her, watching her, and her Facebook groups for a long time. I'm just a reseller and I do a little bit of merch too. So I'm um, hopefully gonna find out some info about that today. We, yeah, we're gonna talk about merch. So where where are you at with merch? Like how long have you been on and like what's your tier and all this I'm stuff? I'm really, I'm, I'm probably the bad case scenario of merch. I've been on merch for a while. I wanna say, I don't know, it's going on 18 months now. So okay. I got on relatively early. Um, and I just kind of dragged my heels. Uh, I remember I put on one shirt and then, it, and then I took, uh, I think I did a few shirts for a local company and then they sold, not too many, maybe eight shirts sold in like three months. And then I kind of really didn't do anything with it. Um, right now my level is, I'm actually at a thousand shirts. Um, and I have a little, uh, I'll tell you a story later. There's another story I, I told Young on Merch Minds, uh, which is kind of a cautionary story about merch. We can. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. I can't wait. Yeah, you yeah. Tell everybody. Yeah. Okay. Um, but then, yeah. So right now I'm about thousand. I'm only doing text based because I have zero background. I know that's no excuse because everyone's learning, and I really drag my heels. Bottom line. So I'm here to kind of learn a little bit of something, and then move away from text-based stuff and learn a little about keywords and stuff like that. Absolutely, okay. And I just wanna say, thank Mo, um, Mo is one of my patrons, and so I wanna thank him for that, straight up front. No, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, okay, so we are live, I'm gonna say hey in the chat real quick. Uh, my friend Michael Taylor is there, the only way of thrifting, and Darren and the Shred Guy, hello, hello. Okay, so now we were talking and now I forgot. Okay, so you're at the thousand tier, 18 months, Mo? I know. This is bad. This is, yeah, I no. know. I, it's not good. And I think at one point I actually had two merch accounts because I signed up my wife and then I didn't check that one and it disappeared, obviously. They got rid of it. So I've really wasted opportunity. This is bad. This is wasted opportunities. Look, you're, I'm ribbing you and my friend Michael in the chat's ribbing me. He says, how are you getting on with AI techs? Because I just started, I just downloaded or signed up for Adobe Illustrator. I haven't even downloaded it yet. <laughs> well, if that's the worst, you're doing worse. Then I'd be happy with that because you're still far ahead. So I, mean. I paid for it, but I haven't even opened the file to download it. So, oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody has okay. their bits that they can rib each other about, I guess, you know. Yeah. Okay, so so how are sales? How are sales going? Sales are consistent. I mean, I don't mind saying my numbers. I do about three fifty to four fifty a month in terms of dollars. That's uh, good. Sell, That's good. Yeah, I mean, I've fluctuated. I've sold. I think two hundred shirts was my max that I sold in a month. I had very low. Like I used to list it before the price change. Remember there was a price change, and mm -hmm. I used to list them like a. I think $13.99 or something like that. And then I increased that. Um, now I have basically two levels of shirts. I have a $19.99 and I have a $16.99 shirt. Uh, prices, my, I haven't really been listing uh, because of, I guess, what we'll talk about later for about six weeks to two months. I mean, I list very sparingly. Right. Um, but before I was listing, because I got to a level where I could list 20 a day. And that really freaked me out. So I was just going gangbusters. And I was listing really bad shirts. So it just it does doesn't help. If anyone's doing that, don't do it. I I, I yeah. When I when I was doing twenty when I could do twenty a day, that's when I was still trying to upload my max every single day. And yeah. it did get hard to like. I mean, I wasn't cop doing any copyright things or, but they were probably not the best. But they were at least designs, though, right? Some of them, yeah. Yeah, mine were text based, and I was still having trouble with it. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, so I know Joe does a lot of text based stuff, and he and he's doing pretty well. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, I bet his text based, or I've seen his stuff. So it's more advanced, I should say. I mean, it, he takes some time to nuance it. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so 
do you want to tell your story or do you want to talk about some of your questions? Uh, sure, you I'll tell that, uh, yeah, horrible story. Okay. <laughs> if they haven't heard it, it's out there already. So it's yeah, not like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so this is probably April-ish. Um, I just got bumped up to 500 shirts. So I was, I think, at the 10 shirt uh, level. And I was going okay. And then within a week, they bumped me up to the 1,000 shirt level which didn't make sense because I hadn't even sold that shirt, that many shirts, but now I had 20 shirts to upload a day. I did it for a week or so. And then I was at this thing where I upload around 10 at night, which is not a good idea. And then I had to do 20 shirts at 10 at night. So I was, I was only up, uploading like 15 shirts, 18 shirts. I was running out of time basically. Right. So then there was one night where I was doing my eBay listings and I was doing merch at the same time, which is really stupid. And I had these two or three screens open and I was like doing keywords at the same time. I thought I'd save time. I was listing Barbie dolls and I was listing word shirts and I put the keyword Barbie into three or four shirts on merch without knowing it. And you know, once you hit submit, that's <laughs> it, right? Um, yeah. So now I'm freaking out. I'm hitting everything. I'm trying to email merch, which is okay. Good luck with that. Um, yeah. I, I don't know what to do. So basically, I just kind of stopped listing and I went through all the shirts I had that weren't submitted. I couldn't do anything for a week. And then so basically, I, nothing happened for a couple of days. And then obviously, the shirts were in processing for three days or so. And then they got rejected. But I didn't hear anything for like a week. Um, and then when I finally did hear something, they kind of um, sent me this uh, uh, well, actually, they didn't, they didn't send me anything. I went in and I saw this thing on the screen that says, uh, you are, have hit your maximum for the day. And it was like 220. It was a weird number because I was at 1,000 before. So then I thought, that's weird. So I emailed them and I said, you know what? Um, I, I list every day. Everything's good. What happened? Because now I can't list any shirts. Yeah. Didn't hear anything for a while again. When they finally emailed me back, it was a kind of a semi-generic email and it said, because of multiple infractions, you have been suspended for 30 days. Please go through and update all your listings, make sure there's nothing wrong. And I knew exactly what was wrong. The only thing I was worried about is if there were other things in the past, other keywords maybe. So basically, for 30 days, I couldn't list, I couldn't do anything. Even if you tried, if I tried deleting one in the listing, it wouldn't let me. So it went from 226 down to 225. Oh. So that didn't work. So, uh, but luckily I should be thankful about this. After 30 days on the dot, it just came back. No emails, no responses. They didn't respond to after that person email anyway. And it just came back. It said a thousand again. And I could list, but ever since then, I'm super scared. It's just like, uh, okay, what do I do? And what am I not doing? I went through a lot of my old shirts. I deleted them. Um, and yeah, so that's my cautionary story. But you're back to a thousand now. Back to a thousand, thank goodness. Um, I do list, but very sparingly. Yeah. So, yeah. so check everything. Yeah. yeah I, check everything. I, even. I've noticed that there's stuff that I listed six months ago that you cannot list now, keyword wise. Uh, because pe I guess people come on and they, maybe they, I don't know, copyright keywords. I don't know how that works. Or, yeah. uh, but just check everything. Um, yeah, definitely. Double check, triple check. Um, Gosh, that's frightening. I, 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 I did something a long time ago and maybe, well, it was Super Bowl time, not this past year, but the year before. Or maybe it was yeah. last year, where I, I I know I tell this story a lot, where I didn't know Super Bowl was trademarked, and I just put it not even in the title or on the shirt or anything, but just in the keywords, right? Yeah. So. Same um, exact thing, yeah. But, but my, I mean, mine was a red flag. It was like three or four shirts in a row, like Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. <laughs> yeah. yeah it wasn't a Barbie. <laughs> and it wasn't a Barbie shirt. It was just like a. No, it was a shirt about fire. I think it was like a bomb picture of a bonfire. I think that was a. I had a cheap little pixelated thing and then a word bonfire or something like that, which I don't even have anymore. So if you, you're welcome to it, if you want it, it doesn't sell anyway, but <laughs> <laughs> it's yours. Um, okay. So there's a few more people in the chat. Hi, Tracy and follow does ring girl. Neville. Hello. Sure. Oh, Debbie's there. Nick Eden. Go team. Awesome. We're not winning. That's okay. <laughs> Are you participating in Joe's? Fantasy, 
Uh, oh, Joe's? No, no, no. But I'm in a, you're, you're in fantasy football league, so I'm guessing, right? Or no, well, well, we're doing this contest in Joe's group in Merch University. Oh, I need but to get on there. I've been uh, I've been out of social media for like a week now. I've been, I've been trying to force myself to get off Facebook for a little bit to get stuff done, but I I, I need to check that out though. Yeah, and we we like we created teams. So there's four four or five of us. I can't remember on a team, and and you have to create so many shirts. Um, you know, collaborating and collaborating on design and keywords oh, and this cool. and that. Yeah, I thought it was great because then you're getting to show a few other people in the group your designs. And yeah, you're getting, yeah, yeah. Like, keep, you know, so, yeah, I'm on the 4,000 tier, but oh, um, there's a lady named Tanya in our group who's on the 1,000, but her designs are great. Her ideas are great. So, I mean, it just shows, like, it doesn't matter just because I've been at it longer is where I'm at, you know, but you can right. get amazing ideas and tips from other people. I thought it was an amazing idea. So... <laughs> Good job, oh, that's Joe. Good. That's good. It gets you moving. Um, yeah. So next, next month we're going to do it again. And okay. Yeah, so go go from there. It'll be cool. Uh, Shred Guy says, well, at least Amazon followed their own terms of service to the T. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Hi, hi, seventh grade geometry. Okay. Um, and Kit says, can I make a T-shirt mock-up without knowing Photoshop? Yep, I do it all the time. Okay, do you want to jump into your questions? Or? Sure, sure. I had a few questions. All right, let's do All it. right, fonts. I always wonder about fonts. Maybe I'll mix my first two questions here. That's Finding right. cool fonts and using fonts that were kind of, you know how on your computer you have set fonts. Mm -hmm. I know it's not a good idea to use those, but can you legally use them if you wanted to, like Helvetica, Times Roman, if you really wanted to? Can you? Uh, is that allowed? My answer, and I, I was like, hmm, that's a good question. So I researched this, and pretty much everything I looked at was just looking at, because I said, can I use fonts from, you know, my computer, whether it's from Word or from, you know, other softwares that's already um, loaded, preloaded on your computer, and for commercial purposes, and everything was addressing reselling the fonts, not like, actually using the fonts so I went I asked young because <laughs> he knows this kind of stuff and he his take was again he's not a lawyer neither am I but that if you know if you if it's on your computer that you purchased that it should be okay to use double check it just in case okay. um, um, and then finding cool fonts um, I'm gonna screen share I did um, I looked at a few places because I've never actually bought well I bought one font because there was a site there's a site called Place It, and they had some mock-ups where you could create shirt designs, and they had some fonts on there, but I wasn't sure about um, using them, you know. And so when I looked it up, it was a paid font, so I went ahead and bought it anyway. So okay. I haven't bought a ton, but I know Young buys them a lot. And yeah. so I went to <laughs> – he's got a website called Geek Hustle, and he actually did a – I guess they did a – I don't know if this is a podcast that they do. Yeah, a podcast where he's talking about them and he talks about some of the different um, places to find fonts. Yeah. Some are free, some are paid. Um, I think but, I bought one from him uh, or his, his, uh, that he recommended. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I was always a little wary about, um, I don't know, fonts in general, but, I mean, he knows his stuff, so. Yeah, I, I agree. And then, but then also just to check the license for each one. Yeah. Exactly. To make sure, because some of them, even when they're good for commercial use, sometimes they'll say up to 500 products, you know, so yeah. once you've sold that 500th shirt, then that, you know, you have to buy the license again, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess that's kind of uh, so weird. So you just have to read it. But here, here's, where, here's what else I pulled up. So I pulled up his site because he has a list. Um, and then, like, so here's this one, Creative Market. This is one of the ones that he had on his. Um, My Fonts was another one. You can always go back, right? Font Bundles. And like I say, I haven't done a whole lot with buying fonts. Font Squirrel. This is one that came up when I did a lot of searching. This one kept coming up. Urban Fonts. And then, okay, that's it for now. The other screens I have are for other questions that you had. So hopefully that answers the question. I'm, no, it does. It does. It's just yeah. I, I actually I shouldn't rely so much on fonts only to begin with, but uh, maybe that's the next part of it. But yeah, that that's good though because I always wondered about that because uh, I see all these fonts and then I see sometimes I see the same font somewhere else 
or it looks very similar. Yeah. But it's charged for, you can't use it for commercial purposes. That's what scares me a little bit, especially like the fonts. The font has, because it has your free, non commercial use. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, like, that's why I asked Yong, because I know he's done a lot of research and stuff about yeah. this, and he buys a lot of fonts. And um, so I felt confident asking his advice on yeah. that. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me see. What was my next question? Okay. This one I, I'm stealing from, so I've read this somewhere. Somebody was talking about literally taking photos they had taken from their cell phone, I don't know, selfies or whatever, and putting them on a shirt. And I know just from, like, I sent you a picture earlier, and it was super pixelated. Mm -hmm. That was not a, like, a, I wondered if you send that a photo, is it going to be horrible? Can you do that? Is that something people do? Is that even allowed? I don't know. Yeah, it's allowed. I mean, as long as it's your photo, you like you're allowed to use it. Um, okay. I think as long as the file size is big enough to make sure that it's not pixelated like that. Yeah. Um, and then like, it could be a boxy. Like my sister has a photograph that we want to put on a shirt, but it's going to be like a rectangle. Like, you know, is that what we want? Or do we yeah. want to take away some of the edges and fix it up? Um, we, my son made a shirt that has like a, a pickle and it's like a photograph of a pickle, you know, on the <laughs> shirt. And so like, I mean, it starts fading, but I guess, Maybe that's not. But it looks decent, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look okay. Bad. Okay. Doesn't look bad. If I always wondered, because a lot of I, the reason I I don't do many pictures is because I I wouldn't design them very well. They get super pixelated. So I thought this would be worse. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. good. Okay. okay. Let's see. What was my next question? Uh, okay. This is more about uploading uh, because I'm a little bit paranoid. Is it better because they say with like eBay list a little each day and that's good. Is it similar with merch? Do they check on Say if I list five shirts a day consistently, or can you say, you know, you're going to list 20 and then you don't do anything for a week. What's better? What's, well, I don't know, what's visible? So personally, and I, I actually was, I was on the phone talking to Young about this last night. Um, and he was laughing at me saying that I was, full, <laughs> it was just bananas and silly that I, <laughs> but I have noticed that when I upload every day that my sales go up, you know, okay. I, I think he, because he already uploads every day, but maybe yeah. if he took a big break, he would know. I know Jeff's in the chat. Tim for a hat time. That's right. I'm serious because my kids have been off for the summer. So I have, I've maybe uploaded a shirt here, five there, like maybe once a week, twice a week. And yeah. where normally I'm uploading every single day. Um, so June was amazing because my kids had summer camp. So I was uploading like normal. July hit. I know it was slow for everybody, but it went from, you know, it went down a lot. And then this uh, month, I if I crack a thousand dollars this month, I'll be doing good. That's how bad okay. it is. And well, I, have I, I I backed that up in the sense that I know ever since my little debacle that I I don't list that much at all. So yeah, I've noticed it go, go it went down a lot. Yeah, and I think I even think that that I, I I heard Chris Green talking about it, and he's somebody who knows Amazon stuffs, and so. You know, if they see activity, I can't remember he used a different term for it, but that they're going to re reward that or, you know, they want activity. Um, yeah. Now, what that would do for somebody who's on the level 10 tier or 25 tier would be, you know, what do you do? Get in there and work on stuff and distract? I don't know. You know, and backlinks, that's another thing he said. You know, they really like seeing backlinks, seeing you working on. Oh, that's another thing I really thought about, backlinks. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I just, I guess I wanted reassurance with that one. I should have known the answer to them, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Um, okay. I, this is probably, you probably talked about this a lot. Best free design tool. Um, like, I mean, I know you can get a cheap Photoshop, but what's a, the best free one that you would recommend? I want, well, I use PicMonkey. It's not, a, it's not totally free, but they have a free version. But from what I understand, they're taking more and more away from the free version. Um, and another site that I use that's free is called Lunapic. Uh, okay. And I've n I haven't really used it a lot. It's kind of clunky. I don't use it a lot for designing shirts, but I do a lot like applying filters and editing or um, so things like that. Sometimes when I was trying to make transparent backgrounds because I didn't know how to do it, I would do it in Lunapic because I knew how to do it there. So. Like I say, it's kind of clunky, but it's, you know, I, I've used that one. And then another one that I hear a lot of people talk about is Canva. Yeah, that's uh, that's the one I use right now for 
mainly yeah. from YouTube thumbnails, but yeah. What else? And then GIMP. GIMP is another one that. Yeah. Um, so there, there's this article, but I hadn't heard of, of the rest of these on here. GIMP, I had heard of, heard people talk about. Um, but yeah, mostly I use PicMonkey and LunaPic were my two main ones that I use. So. Gotcha. I think I, I need to move because I use Paint.net now, which is similar to GIMP, basically the yeah. same thing. So um, I think I need to move to something else, a little bit more advanced. Follow. I, you changed your name. I know you're. I, I, it's like when people change their name. I recognize your picture, the little thumbnail <laughs> picture. But I, they changed the name. Um, you can remove the backgrounds in Pixlr. P i x l r. Awesome. Um, Nick says my daughter and wife use i i p i p i c c y. P -I -C -C -Y. Um, let's see. They're giving some other options in the in the chat. Thanks, guys. <laughs> see, yeah. Luna, the shred guy says Lunapic looked like a cool way, cool site to play with. Did you uh, did you watch my merch octopus video? <laughs> okay. Where yeah. I used, yeah. So I played with that in there. Okay. Do you mind me checking the chat real quick? No, 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 no. absolutely. Because okay. there were some questions and stuff like that. Um, multitasking does not work. They're saying it always gets me in trouble. Yep. 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 Yeah, uh, how many how many rejections? Ron wants to know. Can you get before Amazon suspends your account? Well, I can tell you for this. This was four shirt uploads. So that's a. Uh, so, I mean, I wouldn't even do one. I've heard of people getting suspended for one. Yeah, I uh, guess it just depends on yeah. what. Yeah, exactly. Like how bad is the infringement? Um, yeah, just don't do it, I think, because you've got so many people trying to get in right now. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Michael says when he was on the 10th tier, uh, he gave a design a week. He gave a design a week to sell. And if it didn't sell, he pulled it and uploaded something else. And he just teared up to 25. He says it took less than a month. So he's gotcha. he's flying in the face of all of the recommendations <laughs> of leading, leaving a design up there for, for six weeks. It's like, no, man. Up, down, <laughs> up, down, up, down. Okay. <laughs> but he's motivated, so. <laughs> That's good. Um, Neville says he uses GIMP and DAZ 3D, D-A-Z 3D. Um, how long do you... Pull, how long do you give before you pull an unselling shirt? Do you pull any? I do. I pulled a lot recently. Uh, I used to go every 30 days. Um, and then, but then it, I get to the point where I had a lot of unselling shirts. So I start to question the entire process. But yeah, you know, I'd say 30 days. But to be honest, um, once you start selling a few shirts, you can look at the ones that are selling and just, you can pull it every two weeks, I would say. Yeah. I, I don't pull any more. I mean, if I were, Close to my max, maybe I'd start pulling yeah. it out. But when I was at a lower tier, I would probably go, you know, maybe six weeks or something like that. Well, pulling for me is a little bit, I'm a little paranoid now because now I put up a shirt and I'm wondering, you know, is there something wrong? So maybe I don't pull it, but I check the keywords, mm -hmm. I check the title, to see if it's um, copyrighted now. So not really pulling, but editing. Yeah. Let's see. Nick is saying over app doesn't work for Android users. But yeah, there's the Over app, there's Word Swag. I think Over is a little more, because Word Swag has a lot of fonts, and I don't know about all the, you know, commercial use on those, but yeah. Um, Ke Kelly Shopping Corner, I just got started on merch. Does anyone have any good videos to recommend for a newbie? No? <laughs> what do we do recommend? Well, I think you're watching a channel that has a lot of videos. <laughs> that uh, Once you hit that bell button, and then I think you'll be set. <laughs> I can't. I, I don't know. Anyway, Joe's good. Joe, you yeah, know. Rich University. Rich University is his channel. Jeff, David. It depends on what you want. If you're looking for Adobe, you know, Merch, uh, Treasure Gnome is good. Another good one. Uh, oh, gosh. Glenn. <laughs> Hustler Hacks. Oh, yeah. Listen to the Merch Minds. They're yeah, on a podcast. I mean. Join the Facebook join, join the Facebook group Merch Minds and Merch University. Jeff Davidson, but he's cost frog. I don't know, Jeff. You're in the chat. If you're there, point at yourself. Yeah, <laughs> it just depends on what you need and what what you use. Chris Green does he have his own? I guess he puts. I mean, they down. have a huge group. I don't know. Does he do videos on merch? Or oh, I know yeah. he talks about a lot of stuff, so it's hard with Chris. Yeah, but. yeah. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so Catherine is saying, my daughter likes drawing a lot. If I want to use some of her drawings to put on a shirt, how do I do that? What apps or programs do I use that doesn't involve Photoshop? 
So there's one program that is on my phone that's called oh gosh, Adobe Capture, and it's a free. So that will, you can take a picture of it. I think it puts it in black and white, though. That's the only thing. But you could take a picture or just scan it in, upload it, and I don't use Photoshop either. I use PicMonkey. Yet I don't use Photoshop yet. I've downloaded PicMonkey. I haven't used it yet. Another horrible thing, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. You got another one? Sure. Trends to stay away from. I mean, I know obviously you don't want to do like a a Barbie shirt or a Super Bowl shirt, but I mean, more like uh, I mean, obviously you don't want to do an eclipse shirt now. But I mean, like, uh, are there things you should just maybe not go into? Like, uh, it's kind of like, uh, maybe not against toss, but just don't work. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't, I mean, as long as it's okay. I mean, there might be some that are more saturated than others, you know, but it's still. I, okay, I don't so know. basically it's just don't get in something late or. Yeah, or if it's yeah. over, but even then, like, even if it's oversaturated, if you come at it from a different angle, like the um, Eclipse one, a lady that I know put out a shirt that it was Eclipse based, but it was like instead of the shape of a moon, it was the shape of a cat, and so it was like okay. a cat, cat clips, you know, nice. so it like hits those cat lovers that are going, you know what I mean, where you're yeah. trying to like mash up a couple of things. I feel like I'm using my hands a lot. But I think it's just because my nails are green. I'm noticing it more. That's <laughs> so. good. It stands out. I don't have any, any nail polish. I, I'm, yeah. I'll sit on my hands. Squirrel. Okay. okay. So just don't, I mean, watch the trends and edit and just kind of use your brain a little bit as opposed to just going with the flow. Yeah. And then like, okay, so for example, when the big, when the big Donald said Kofefi or, or tweeted it, right? Yeah. I did. I, I created a, a Kofefi shirt and it, it has sold some, but I think cause I went at it cause a lot of people went at it, like making fun of him for it. Yeah. I went at it as from the positive side. So let's say one of his supporters wanted to use that, sh you know, you go either way then. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's like, it. so I think it's just finding it, thinking about what are most people going to be doing or looking and seeing most people are doing it from this angle. How about if we come in from, from a different angle? So. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's not yeah. going with the crowd necessarily. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I, I need to do a little bit more of that. But yeah. Okay. What's the thought? All right. Let me see. I've got one more question. I think. Uh, okay. This is. This got me a little bit worried too because when I was uploading shirts, I would upload because you know they have multiple colors. You can't capture them all in one mm -hmm. uh, upload. Is it? Uh, against uh, TOS or is it just not good to upload multi that same design or that same whatever two or three times uh, because that is that kind of counted as uh, something you shouldn't do or just so you can you know I, I want brown I want pink I want all the different colors um, but you're uploading basically the same design just two or three times is that bad to do or uh, no I, I think actually they in their frequently asked questions they say that's totally okay to do I do that Okay. All the time, yeah. And actually, today I've started when I was uploading. So I ended up having the same design four times. Okay. Because I'll put it, you know, the light. It's like say it was a lion, a white lion, um, on up twice on regular, and then I put it up twice on premium. Okay. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'm flooding my spots. You doing that? Um, but. I have 80 uploads a day, so. I mean, I would think it'd be something they would want. Because, I mean, what if you want one person wants a pink shirt, one person wants a white shirt, as opposed yeah. to brown, blue, whatever. So, I mean. But what yeah. I do try to do is mix it up where it's not all, like, brown, black, navy, the, all on one listing. So, I've got a couple okay. dark and a couple of oh, that makes sense. color. And then, so on each one, there's, yeah. That's okay. something I noticed, too, that some, when friends will say, hey, look at my design. What do you notice? What could I change? They'll have like gray, white, silver, and then blue. I'm like, you got three basically white colors. Like pick <laughs> one and yeah. get that's just for me, yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess I have an offshoot of that question then. I have some people, I've seen people that do like a women's shirt. It'd be the same design, but then they'll, it'll be just they'll like the, you know how you can check mark women, kids, mm -hmm. or they'll just do women only. They'll just do kids only. So is there a point to doing that? I mean, 
I don't think it's a, I think select them all. That's what I would do, but I mean, yeah. okay. I'm a that. girl, but those ladies' shirts, you know, are like, they're really slim fitting. So I have to get a guy's size shirt, you know, or yeah. what if you're a guy and you like a slim, I don't know. Yeah. And what if you're a family and you buy more than one? I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, or what if, and this is my thing too. Like what if you're a little person yeah. and you can't buy a grown up man size shirt and sense. Yeah. you know, you've got to buy, there's no shame in buying the kids large, you know, why not? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That is true. Tyrion needs shirts too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all need shirts. Plus they, they shrink too. I always get, did your shirt? Largest. Oh, okay. So what's it? Have you ever bought your own shirts? Have you ever? Uh... Yeah, I I don't wear a lot of t-shirts, but I I bought my octopus shirt just because I wanted to see how it came out. But mostly for the kids, like I'll buy shirts for the kids. My dad bought one of my sister's shirts. He bought one of the it was like the blue Heather one, and uh -huh. that one it came. It's a totally different material than the normal, even though it was the regular Anvil shirt. Yeah. I mean, it was so soft. <laughs> I, I mean, I've never shirt. worn that much. I bought my own shirts. I did it for a bachelor party last year. I bought like 12 of them. Yeah. So I was handing them out to my friends. And then, uh, so yeah, they felt pretty good. I only wore it once, but I mean, uh, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, I guess anyone can try that. Bachelor parties are great for shirts. I mean, it was so I think the ease of getting it fast was cool because I did it on Monday. I got it like on a Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. Well, that is good. Um, I got it really fast. I was surprised, but yeah. When I when I ordered my octopus shirt, even though I ordered it using Prime, it's it took like a week and a half. I think they were having delays or something like that. And that was part of when, I think it was in July probably when things okay. were really slow. Gotcha. And that might be why things were so slow because people were seeing those handling times. They weren't going to get their shirt for a week and a half, two weeks. Yeah. 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 I was surprised when I got it so fast, but, uh, that was cool though. Um, I, that's the one where I put a, I put a face on the front of the shirt, but it was kind of pixelated. Uh, put my buddy's face <laughs> with a wig on. That was about it. But it, yeah. It came out pixelated. Kind of picked, especially around the edges. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and plus, I made it because he liked the color blue, so I put it on blue, which didn't work out. I should have done it on a different color. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So. Um, Prime two-day shipping is after they make the shirt. The shred guy says, yeah, yeah. Let's see. I'm looking. Premium comes in, is great come the holidays when they start running out of regular anvil blacks like last year. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Okay, Jeanette, uh, Jeanette says, can you put a website or company logo on a shirt if you're selling it only as a sample? That's a really good question that I don't know the answer to. Because I know that you're not supposed to put websites or links. I've, going I've somewhere. read that. Yeah, I've read something about you can't put, like in the can't description. put a website name. Yeah, in the description or on the shirt. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you could put a website. I mean... But then I thought Amazon merch was designed to uh, originally for video gamers or mm -hmm. advertising those products or whatever. But um, yeah. I don't know if somebody knows, maybe they can tell us. Shred guy says he has the answer. All right. I don't think I don't think you can put a like in the description. I don't think you can put another person's website in there. No, I don't think so. That I'm just I trying to think like if it was a local business. I've done it for a local business. You know, then um, that would be. But um, I didn't put the website link in there. I put the name of the business in there. Shrek guy says, not in the title brand or bullets. But maybe if you just put words and I don't, I mean, again, it's not something I've done. But that's what I'm thinking. Like, well, what if I went to a local business and they wanted me to create a shirt for them? You must be able to somehow. I mean, I don't know if there's a, I don't know, a protocol. Yeah, I'm sure somebody has done this. How about your own? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, I think I've made a Texas Gal Treasure shirt. But I don't put my website on in the... In the I don't think they allow that. Yeah. 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 Right. That's well, a good question, though. I'll have to find out the answer. I mean, I know Shred Guy gave us answer. It looks like... Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. You, you got any more questions for me? I'm out of questions. I guess... Um, I, I guess... Um, Designing a shirt, that's uh, how to, the best way to start. Where would you start um, 
I guess, going after your first design in terms of creating it yourself, a simple design, um, where, where would you start? What would be the one, two, three quick process to get started? Like to get graphics for it and stuff? Um, to create graphics. I'm talking about like creating, even if it's a simple logo or simple whatever, um, where mm -hmm. would you start? That's a good question. Um, I've never done that. So I'm guessing because I'm comfortable using PicMonkey and they have all kinds of elements that I can get in there and play with. Okay. I would probably do that because they have all sorts of different shapes that you can put together to okay. make things. Um, because I, I'm, like I say, I'm not, I haven't started my Illustrator Adobe stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I need to. Okay. I'll start with Pic. I mean, I have PicMonkey. I just haven't opened it yet. But uh, yeah, that's not good. Oh, I closed my folder out. I was going <laughs> to, I need to pull it back up. Darn it. And I sat and found it earlier. So let's see. Um, oh, thanks. Neville saying, maybe if you have a written permission from the company. I think somebody said that, oh, wait, a shirt guy says, you can put it in the shirt, but no website.com in the description. I did a direct link and it got rejected. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I know somebody was saying they uploaded the shirt and then it got rejected. And then at that point, they were able to submit the document saying that they had permission to use the name. Okay. But it seems like there should have been a way to do that up front without having to yeah. get a rejection. Who was saying that, Jeff? Oh, my gosh. Somebody was just talking about that. I think it – I don't remember who it was. Um, Shreds guy says, just make the dot-com shirt but don't describe it. HP Picker, Tracy says, I love using PicMonkey to make it easy to design shirts. Yeah, I agree. I need to get on PicMonkey then. Yeah, and it is paid now. I think it's like fifty dollars a year. It's so. I mean, for me, it's cheap. And I, I think I pay. I think that's. I think you're right. I paid for it. I still haven't even used it. It's horrible, but yeah. Yeah, and it, it. I mean, I use it for my thumbnails, for my videos. I use it for my web. You know, my Facebook groups for all the stuff. Yeah, but everyone keeps saying it'll be easier when I learn Illustrator. So. That's what I'm hearing too. I need to, yeah, because they have that. I think it's twenty five bucks a month or something like that uh, for mm, basic. I think oh, wait, I'm, maybe I'm thinking of Photoshop. Uh, maybe because uh, I got the whole suite. Oh, okay. Oh, Tracy says she uses the free version. She doesn't pay. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, there you go. And that's a pick monkey. Or, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I I made something like a collage and I did a video about it and somebody tried to do it and said. We have to pay to use that that service now, which they didn't. You didn't used to have to pay for it's that. It's a yearly thing now, like you said. So yeah. Jeff says I taught my wife Illustrator basics in an hour, and she was off creating. Right. <laughs> my I husband. Be, yeah. <laughs> my husband tried to teach me in an hour, and I, I think I hit him over the head with a rolling pin. <laughs> <laughs> not not really. But yeah. All right. You got anything else? I think I'm. I have a lot to run with right now. So uh, yeah. I, no more questions from this side. All right, I'm gonna, okay, the suite is $49.99 a month. Well, that's what I paid for, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I am gonna thank all of my patrons. If you're interested in joining me on Patreon, I'm on Patreon. And basically, come over there and, yeah, there's different levels where, you know, for certain amounts a month, I will help you with design or create shirts for you. So there's something for everybody, even, even Mo. <laughs> even me, even me. And I will design a shirt sometime this year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was. Uh, oh, I, I did this shirt um, giveaway for when I hit twelve thousand subscribers, and it was so hard because I made the shirts and I was just like, "But I like them." <laughs> <laughs> and so part of me was like, "Ooh, maybe I should create something different and keep these ones." And they're like, "No, no, 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 no." If you don't send, you know, if, if I don't share good stuff, then people are like, "Why am I helping?" <laughs> you know. Anyway, so. <laughs> it was it was tough to send those out and say those are your babies yeah yeah they were fun to make them okay thanks everybody for watching make sure you go over and follow mo on youtube he is the reseller niche podcast and thanks for coming on mo thanks margaret thanks guys see ya <laughs>